Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I'm Heather. This is my sister Holly. Today we're going to do like a really quick empties video. And um, if you're not familiar with empties videos, we're going to show you our trash. It's basically products. Um, it is skincare, body care, makeup, um, things that we have used up empty and they're going in the trash and it is thing will we repurchase it yes no why that kind of thing so let's get started i'm gonna go first did i go first last time i don't know but i'm gonna go first okay um in no particular order this is the dove dry spray um deodorant and i am like having some kind of deodorant problem because i can do not like anything and Kristen Game was was talking about this that she really like at least I think she really likes it. Sorry, Kristen, if I'm getting this wrong, but I think you really like this. And I mean, it smells great. The two things I don't like about this is it's a spray. To be clear, it's a spray. It's number one. It's cold, right? Like on your pit. Well, but does that wake you up? Is that good? For no, you it know, like makes me like mad. Good, yes. No, <laughs> it makes, like, make, like, you it don't makes Heather mad before no. she gets in the car to go to so work. So it's like okay. So you've got your arm up and you're spraying. Yeah. And then you take this and to, by the time you get over here to do this, you're like, like inhaling up from yes. pit number one. Yes, and it's like, I'm like leaned. So yes. now when I put on my deodorant, like when I do use this, I have to do one pit and then move <laughs> and then do the other. Pit. Like I just, I will not be repurchasing this. Yeah. And I think it's wet feeling. No, actually it's not. It's oh. a dry well, it spray. Does say dry no, spray. it's a dry spray. Oh. Um, no, it smells good. It's a cucumber. It did smell good. I mean, it's not, it just. It, I will not be repurchasing that. Okay. And I think we've talked about this before. It's the Nivea, I know, coconut, coconut? Um, body wash. And I think we had talked about before that I'm not monogamous. I just buy whatever's on that sale. That is so good. That's no, I know. Good. It smells really good. And it's good for... Um, for dry skin. It's moist, moisturizing. And I have already repurchased this because I think they were like two for eight or something. Um, and I have talked these to death. These are the Garnier um, Moist Refreshing Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Yes. And I like, if I don't have this, then like I just can't even function. See, we're gonna have to get you that makeup eraser. Because if you'll notice well, well, my that birthday's coming in, up. I have no problem with that. Well, in my empties bag, what's missing is the blue Neutrogena um, makeup remover. The makeup remover. Because, That's right, because you use it. Well, I mean, it's my birthday. It's coming up. You got yours for your birthday. Okay, this was an impulse buy um, that turned out really well. This is the Burt's Bees Brightening Daily Facial Cleanser with Daisy Extract. Oh, Daisy Daisy. I mean, who doesn't want to rub some Daisy Extract on their face? I mean, I, yeah. But isn't everything an impulse buy when it comes to like skincare and drugstore? No, I mean, kind of. I mean, it was on sale oh, okay. at CVS. So this is, I mean, all this stuff so far has been drugstore stuff. And it's got, helps visibly even skin tone, creates a brighter, more luminous complexion. You look luminous. No, no, I mean, I feel luminous. <laughs> Remove dirt, oil, and makeup. And I have already repurchased this. And I think it was like nine or eleven ninety nine or something. It was like twelve dollars. Reasonable. But I mean I had a coupon. And Burt's Bees is like everywhere. It like is everywhere. Walgreens. You might be able to find it for a better for a better price. But I think what I like about it is I don't know if it smells good though. Okay. Uh, what I like about it is that it, it does remove a lot of my makeup. So I'll use this in the evening. I only cleanse my skin one time a day, which is in the evening when I get in the tub because I take my bath. Okay. So I, I really like it. So I've already bought another one. And I think the thing with skin, with skincare, like with skin, um, cleansers and, um, moisturizers and the like, it's like, you can't just use it one time and decide if you like it or not. I mean, you've got to right. commit to it. So like I could, I didn't decide to repurchase this until I was basically done with it. And I right. was like, Oh, I actually really like this. So I, so I did repurchase it. You gotta give it 30 days. 30 at least, days? at least, <laughs> at least that long. And so this is going to be in my empties every single time. I mean, it just is because it's like the crack. It is good. L'Oreal, um, it's the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm um, that they say you only use like once a week. I use it, I can use it like every day because my hair is really dry. So I like that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is probably going to be in every time. This is the oh, CeraVe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if we talked about this before or not. I think we have. I think we did. It's the, it's the PM 
meaning eat for the evening because there's an a.m. one too. This is the p.m. facial moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin and this is very lightweight absorbs immediately is not greasy. I can put this on put my makeup on or put this on go to bed. I don't I mean I wear this under my makeup. That's what I was going to ask like <clears throat> even though it says p.m. Mm -hmm. if it's a lotion I've always thought okay lotions in the a.m. creams in the p.m. like I've got the CeraVe in the big tub and oh, it is yeah. a heavy thick cream and I can we take a moment? Okay. But this lotion probably is, is thin enough to be absorbed to wear under your makeup. So do you I put this of, on and like I immediately put on my makeup. Yeah, okay. So she uses this for the AM. Just saying. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh my god, I had total drama. <laughs> no. About the NYX? No. Is this about, about this the product? Eye no. Oh, okay. This is about something that I cannot even have in my life. Now, Generally speaking, empties are, are things that are empty. Like, we've used them up completely. This is something, I swear to you, I used three times, and I cannot even have this in my house anymore. This came in a um, my Walmart beauty box. Oh, yeah, I remember when you got this that. This is the Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Serum. What? What happened? Oh, this stinks so bad. Can I smell it? No, but here's the thing. When you when you take this off and smell <laughs> it, you can have it, by the way. Here, smell it. Okay. Doesn't smell good, but doesn't really smell terribly offensive. It went up to my sinuses. Okay. Until you put it on your face. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if I was having some kind of reaction or what? But by the time that I put this on and I went and got in the bed and laid down, I <laughs> couldn't even stand myself. This is rancid. It's rancid. And I thought maybe I had it this old yes. It doesn't expire till 2017. I remember you posted about this on Instagram. I can't have any part so of it. other people were coming back saying that saying they, that they liked loved it. And I was thinking, okay, well, maybe good. you can try it. You, you absolutely, you be my guest because I can't even deal. I cannot, I you can't, can't even, I can't. You look alone. Honey, I had to wash my, my <laughs> pillowcase. <laughs> it smells that bad. I mean, I would rather have a wrinkle than smell that. <laughs> okay. Listen, I don't care real. how bad I smell. I don't want wrinkles. Okay. This is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Spray. Oh, yeah. I know. It's the toner water. And I really like it. And it's worth it. It's it, how much? It's, it's worth it's pricey, it. It's, though, it right? is expensive. I mean, I have another one at home because you had bought it for me last year. It's just really refreshing. And this is, you can use it like a toner. In other words, like even though it's got a spray bottle. Like sometimes I take the top off and I put it on like a little cotton pad, and I'll just like do it over my face after I cleanse my face before I put on my moisturizer. But honestly, nine times out of ten, I just spray this. Yeah. Just to kind of like calm some shit down. Yeah. Comfort. And like I take this with me when I travel, like I have a smaller yes a size, like a travel friendly size. Use this on the plane. Yes. Because it just, and it won't move your makeup or do anything like that. It's just like a cooling bit, oh, yeah. like on the plane. Right. And now, and now that it's becoming winter in Louisville and we have our heat on in the car and it's like blasting at her skin. No, like you should have this at work too. Like mist yourself at work. I have something similar to this ah. at work because it's, am I, I am so dry that I, can, I cannot even deal. So let's say, okay, I have a lot of stuff but we may not be able to get through all of it. This is my um, a hit pan on my little single, my wet and wild nutty. Nutty, nutty. nutty. Yeah, okay. okay. I've already repurchased it. It's yes. 99 cents at Walgreens. You can't go wrong. It's good, all purpose, everyday it's an eyeshadow. It's everyday color. Yeah, and I've already, like, it was just becoming too much drama. Yeah, you can't, you can't get it enough. But like yeah, that. I've already repurchased that. Um, let me see if there's anything in here I haven't talked about before. I had not seen them. Let's see. Oh, well, the, the, um, to go along with this, the CeraVe, they also make an eye cream. Do you like that? No, I do. Like, I really do. It's the eye repair cream. Okay. I've already bought another one. Is it the same consistency as this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because wouldn't it be yeah. thicker? I mean, it's a little bit thicker. Okay. It's, a little, it's would, a little bit thicker. My expectation would be I would want it thicker around the eye. Right. But I wear this um, day and night. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I think that's all that I have to talk about because it's kind of a lot. I don't want to, like, outshine you with your, like, puny little empties basket and all that. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn. Oh, it's 
my turn. Okay. Oh, totally your turn. <laughs> okay. I totally just dug this out of the trash because I forgot that we were collecting. Like she collects and I just live. And Why I, do you not I, collect? You should be collecting I, every I day. I forget. I forget. But just replaced toothpaste. Mm -hmm. This was the Optic White from Colgate. I really had high expectations about this because. I always talk about Heather's teeth being whiter than mine. I don't know how that happened. So I'm always trying They're to really find not. something. And it really didn't. It, my, expecta my expectations were this. Honey, I told and I got you this. that I used the Crest, the Crest 3D White. I don't think I got that. Oh, well, I you think need I got to watch another our, Colgate. You need to watch our last empties video because it was in it. Well, how much you got now? So <laughs> oh, no. I, I have one too. <laughs> Do you think we have a problem? Clearly we have a problem. This new Maybelline Lash Sensational, I think we've talked about this a couple of different times. It is my holy grail. They do tend to dry up a little bit sooner than the L'Oreal. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just a Maybelline thing versus L'Oreal. I'm think, okay with that. I'm okay with that because I love the applicator brush. Mm -hmm. It's the brush of all brushes. I know. I mean, it's the coolest thing. <clears throat> this is so dry, I might not even be able to open it. It's got this little comb thing on the top. It's incredible. Right. So but I don't use, jam that in your eye for real. I be use the work. bottom, the curved part, to wiggle, wiggle, and then I turn it over and comb, comb. It is just the awesome. It's the most awesome thing. So yeah, I've been through a couple of those. Wiggle and comb. I'm wiggling and combing. Um, the next uh, maybe face makeup product is that makeup extender spray. Oh yeah. This isn't necessarily like a moisturizing mist. This is, um, I do a lot of um, dance performances, and so to lock in my makeup, to make it sweat proof, I'm going <laughs> to... To cementify your <laughs> makeup. <laughs> but it stays, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Everybody else is drippy, streaky, and runny, and I look like this. Because of this. She looks like a statue because of this. <laughs> no, I'm it's a dancing statue. Oh, it's a dancing <laughs> statue. Okay. But this really does work, and I would purchase this over and over again. I think it's like, isn't this like $14 or $15? I don't know. People were complaining that this was too expensive. Like, they thought that the price point but was it's too not high for L'Oreal. Well, but it's not in compared it to, over. it doesn't, it doesn't, um, the Urban Decay setting spray. Oh, well, true. So There's that's that. like $28, <laughs> and this being like $14 or $15, yeah. it really is worth the get, and I have purchased it again and will purchase it again. Again. Um, I hit pain on my hula. I know, I know. Yeah, mine is just exactly like yeah, that, and you like you gotta sad. work too hard for it. Yeah, I got a new one. And actually, the other one, did you notice it has like an alligator lid? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the Hula Bronzer, if you're not familiar with it, it is a wonderful neutral bronzer. It is by not, benefit. It's by benefit, thank you. Um, it is not too warm and it is not too cool it really is a universal really good neutral it's just without a, any shimmer just a brown right and so i i kind of you know make the fish face and do and do it up in there and then i bring it down my neck so i got a new one of those so yes i would purchase this i you've purchased it i've purchased it um oh you purchased it for me yes it did no uh -huh. um because i'm good like that although i'm gonna have to get you the makeup eraser whatever um, have you ever used this bio silk? Mm -mm. This is that silk therapy. You can get this um, at high-end hair salons, or you can even find this at Kroger. I've seen I this need at some high-end silk in my hair. Why don't you use that in my hair? Look at my hair. You don't even want to know no. <laughs> what it took for a hairdresser to make my hair into a messy bun. We should have videoed it. I'm we should have videoed it because it was. It was you a, don't have a lot of hair, so there was some teasing and hairspring, some pulling and yelling mm -hmm. going on. It was fine. It was fine. It looks good. So, but this is not for messy bun. What this is, is after I curl my hair, I put this in my hand and then just smooth over my curls. So it kind of lays my curls back down. Curl I don't know. Smoothing. It's, it's sm curl smoothing, yes. But a little bit of this goes a long way. This has probably taken me a year to go through. And I think it was about... 12 to, to $13. Uh, actually, I think I got this at Cosmoprof, which you have to have a license to go into. Oh, so that'll be helpful for our viewers. No, no, no. I just told everybody you can get it at Kroger. Oh, did I miss that? Do you know what a Cosmeceutical is? Nope. Oh, is it like a, um, like a pharmaceutical, but for makeup? Yes. 
It is, so there is um, like a, what we would call like a drugstore uh, brand level, and then you would go up to like a department store brand le level, and then you would go over to like maybe an esthetician brand level, and then on up to uh, <laughs> like a, a dermatologist level. So a, a lot of times in order to go up in level, you want to look for cosmeceutical because it's, you don't have to have a prescription, but it is high quality, grade skincare. And so I wanted to try out a cosmeceutical vitamin C. Um, it is that hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. and it has 20% uh, vitamin C. So this is actually a serum. It comes in a little eyedropper and I didn't save the eyedropper, but for some reason I saved this, but I will purchase this again. I think I got this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. What, so, how do you use it? So I use it after I wash my face on absolute clean skin. This is the first thing. When you look into serums versus night creams, you have to put that serum on first. So clean, your, dry skin. clean, dry skin, and I use the little eyedropper, and I get a full drop, and then I do this, and I put it on, and then I wait for all that to absorb, and um, then I put my night cream on over it. So I really like this. I have some I vitamin C oil at home that... Um, it's ex it's very use. well. You need to use it. It's it's very repairing, and it will help. Like I had a little um, skin blemish removed, and so it's helping heal that. It will help heal. Like if you've had a little pimple, it will help clear that up and heal that really quickly without a scar. Hyaluronic acid is something that your face actually produces and your skin actually produces naturally, and it kind of diminishes over time. So us over 40 girls need to actually add that back in. And when you add it, it's that's that's when your skin is the freshest, the cleanest, and you just lay it right on top. That was almost my mirror. Right on top of the skin and to let it absorb. And then you put your nighttime cream over it. So I love this. I would recommend this. You actually probably need one of those. My empties is empty. Wow. I know. Okay. I, I didn't collect. I didn't okay. That's okay. You're forgiven. You're forgiven. That's okay. Well, you need to save. Okay. Save. Here, here's what really happens: is that I have too much. I have way too too much uh, options, and so every day I'm not using that same thing over and over, except for maybe. So some it takes you here. longer time to go through stuff. Yeah. My right? makeup. I have I have 20 different eyeshadow palettes. How am I going to have an empty eyeshadow? Oh, I would. Ne I mean, you see, it's my single. I would never have, I mean, I can hit pan on certain colors, but who goes through an eyeshadow palette? You have to be a drag queen to go through eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I am I'm the saying. closest thing to a drag queen that, but without being a drag queen, that would be me. Are we done? I, yeah, because the seat is killing me, okay. but yeah, for whatever All right, reason. Heather's butt so, hurts. So. I know my butt hurts. Well, thank you so much for watching our empties. I hope that it was, um, entertaining for you at least um thank you so much for subscribing give us a thumbs up if you like empties videos because we will continue to collect our trash if you are enjoying watching our trash a little mini review a little mini review so we appreciate you thank you so much for subscribing we'll see you next time thanks bye bye why is this chair killing my butt because you're sitting on it wrong how am i sitting on it wrong is the hump in the middle oh uh, yeah Where's your, ba your basket? Well, you don't have that much stuff. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> all right, turn them around. You need something in your basket so your stuff is. Yeah, your junk needs to be elevated, like my junk. Am I a pie enough? Somehow you're lower again. Not her. Get your boobs oh. down. Uh, Is that okay. chair all the way down? <clears throat> I have not touched it since I sat here five minutes ago. Maybe it's her hair. <laughs> really? Let's talk about our hair. <laughs> Your butt looks good. Yeah. I'm like, I can't even feel my own head, but yeah, no, I mean, it looks great. 
beauty's pain. I'm hot. <clears throat> Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. Today, well, wait a minute. Who are we? 